Following the Great Cambrian Explosion around 500 million years ago, the Earth became home to a wide assortment of unique and fascinating creatures, from the apex predator Anomalocaris to the earliest vertebrates such as Hycoichthys and Meloncomingia, the primordial seas were rife with many iconic species. However, among these various animals, at the bottom of the ocean could be found a peculiar worm-like animal known as Hallucigenia. Just what was this creature? Where did it come from? And why is this animal so prevalent in modern day media? Today we're here to dive into the mysteries behind this spinal worm. The name Hallucigenia refers to the dreamlike quality the animal's appearance has. It was originally described as Canadia sparsa by Walcott in 1911, but then given the Hallucigenia genus name by paleontologist Simon Conway Morris when he first found it in 1977 in the Canadian Burgess Shell fossil field. When it was first found, scientists weren't exactly sure what group of animals Hallucigenia even belonged to, with some even suggesting that given its odd appearance it might actually be part of another animal. Later research found, however, that it probably belonged to the taxonomic group Onychophora, which today consists of velvet worms. Looking at the two animals side by side, there definitely is a resemblance, but Hallucigenia still looks different to anything we have on Earth today. Back when it still had the genus name of Canadia, this animal was thought to be part of the class Polychaeta, which are more commonly known as bristle worms. Nowadays, however, Hallucigenia is known to belong to a larger class of Lopobodian worms known as Xenusids. These animals are known for having long cylindrical bodies and stubby legs with tubercles at their ends. Within Xenusia is the order Scleronica fora, which include Lopobodian worms with more protected and armored bodies, and it's within this order that we can find Hallucigenia. The type species of Hallucigenia is H. sparsa, but there are other species as well such as Hallucigenia fortis and Hallucigenia hongmea. Hallucigenia ranged from 1 to 5 centimeters in size and was generally around the size of a human thumb. Its body was conical, it had a ring of teeth around its mouth, a pair of eyes, 7 or 8 pairs of legs, as well as around 7 pairs of spines from its top. This gives the worm a very much alien appearance, characteristic of many animals in the Cambrian. It was originally thought that Hallucigenia used its spines for walking, but this interpretation was met with criticism, with many arguing that using its spines for locomotion would be too inconvenient or cumbersome for the animal as opposed to just using its tentacles to walk. As a result, the animal's appearance was flipped upside down so that its tentacles were at the bottom and its spines were at the top. Having the spines in this position could have lent some potential benefits such as being a defense mechanism or deterrent against predators. This animal is a detrivore, meaning that it fed on dead organic material that it happened to come across on or near the sea floor. The Hallucigenia genus has been present in fossil deposits around the world, from the previously mentioned Burgess Shale in Canada to Chengjiang in the Yunnan province of China. I'm sure there are at least a few of you who might be interested to know why this otherwise unassuming worm from the Cambrian was so prominently featured in the popular manga and anime series Attack on Titan. Before I can give that answer, however, I have to give a quick spoiler warning for events that happen near the end of the series. Hallucigenia first appeared in some form in Chapter 122, but is more formally shown in Chapter 137 where it's shown in a series of panels detailing the proposed origin of life on Earth. It's depicted in the foreground in front of iconic Cambrian animals such as Anomalocaris. Later on, during Chapter 138, it becomes an antagonistic force and the Armored Titan spends an entire chapter jobbing to it. For some reason, it's never referenced or seen again in the final chapter. It's referred to in the manga as the source of all living matter, yet Hallucigenia was not the origin of all other animal species, nor was it the origin of vertebrates either. This led many to ask, why was the worm even included in the first place? Many fans have offered their own theories, such as how Hallucigenia persisted for so long during the Paleozoic from the third stage of the Cambrian around 510 million years ago all the way up to the Middle Cambrian, despite being fairly low on the food chain, and how it's a parallel to how humanity had to struggle for its existence. I think these theories are all valid and fit with the themes of these series, but given that the creator Hajime Isayama threw the themes of the series out of the window with the final chapter, I've come up with another theory. You see, I believe that the creator of Attack on Titan is a complete and utter hack.